Okay, hi Betty, so Dr. Buford, we're just getting started on the right knee. We're looking in the medial compartment here, and as we look at the femoral condyle up above, we can see you've got some arthritis. It's what we expected, and what we're doing here is just going around the edges, making sure there's nothing really loose. And we can look all the way towards the posterior aspect of the femoral condyle, and you can see where the cartilage is kind of rough and not smooth anymore. Now the meniscus, pull this back just a little bit. As we look here, we can see the meniscus and the tearing in the meniscus here. See this posterior horn. So I'm gonna take a pair of scissors here and trim out that posterior horn tear that you see on the screen right there. Table down just a little bit, please. And we'll put our shaver in. Great, thanks. So you can see we've still got a little bit more work to do to get that smoothed up here in the back. Okay, so we're just finishing up on this posterior horn. Again, we don't want to take out any more than we have to. I just want to show you what we're doing here. So we're getting there, just a little bit more, but at least now that rough edge is already taken care of. Okay, so now we're looking in the central part of the knee. This is the anterior cruciate ligament on the left, and then over here on the right, back behind the shaver would be the posterior cruciate ligament. Those look fine. We're gonna see if we can get into this lateral compartment here. And if you look at the if you look at the lateral tibial plateau, you can see how that's got some arthritis on it too. We're gonna go ahead, come on the other side so we can bend that knee up. We're gonna go ahead and reposition the knee so we can maybe smooth some of that out for you in just a minute. Okay, here you can see how loose this cartilage is. See how it just kind of floats right up to the shaver with suction. That tells us it's not healthy and not normal. And that's something that can certainly cause symptoms and maybe even cause some clicking or catching in the knee. Okay, so this is your patella at the top of the screen. And unfortunately, you've got a lot of arthritis here also. You're missing a lot of cartilage. As we look up here at the top of the screen, as we pull back, we'll get a better look. So here's the patella at the top of the screen. We can see the trochlea over the patella is supposed to have a nice smooth gliding surface. It's pretty rough and irregular too. So the real story here is going to be you have a lot of arthritis. Hopefully what we we're doing today will give you some relief. But if not, one of the few remaining options is truly going to be a knee replacement for you. Because we've tried our injections and now we've tried a little bit of our partial meniscectomy and chondroplasty, and if that can't do the trick, then we know what to do after that. Okay, so we're going to finish up here and get you back to the recovery room shortly. Good luck to you now. Bye-bye.